here as well. Okay, so a little bit of cleanse, a bit of lotion. So you can use a, a lotion cleanse, a foaming cleanse. The one I've got is orange and rosewood. Good. And then you can take that off. So you can use you can use mitts, you can use muslin, you can use flannels, you can use the small those smaller muslins that you've got. Okay. Beautiful. And then we are going to go for a hot compress. So you can use, um, I'll use two flannels so that if you use two of your cloths, yeah, let's use a couple of cloths. So with these, we're going to go for the oblong one at the top oh, lush and one and i use this nice like i said this nice sort of folded end not the the edge folded end the nice folded end and press Beautiful. The flannels retain the heat a little bit longer than these muslins. Or you can do the scroll, like I've said. A nice hot scroll. Okay. And so have you got a mist tone or have you got... Okay. Yeah, let's do a tone. Lovely. Okay, we're going to do some honey. So I've got the raw honey. I find this easier to use out of the unfortunate plastic, but rather than have great, so rather than have glass and dripping for the sake of it, we're going to use a little bit. And you're going to put on not loads, but just sort of this much. Oh, I just dropped a little bit. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to just press it into my fingers and start to press it and apply to the skin. So just start by pressing and applying to the skin. And I'm using my fingertips just to create the tackiness. And it's going to get more tacky as we go on. So you want to do this action that creates the tackiness. It's a lifting. And soon you'll, you'll see the change that it becomes very tacky. Honey in my hair. <laughs> so now you want to start to get your more your fingers involved that really start to lift the skin. Yeah, keep it going. Lift, lift, lift.
And this is the, a really good plumping. It's also acts as an exfoliate as well. Lift, 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 lift. I do little, little lifts on the forehead. Yeah. And again, around the more fleshy areas, a big lift now. So now, does it, it should feel very tacky. Yeah. Yeah. Keep lifting. And it, in a moment, it will feel like, to, to us, to you, it will feel almost like it's, it would be, be slapping, it's like a smarting and that will be enough. Okay. But you can see how, you can see how much it lifts. <laughs> it's quite a weird so, one, but so this is, the benefits of this is obviously. Well, first of all, lifting, plumping, exfoliating. So it sloths off it sloths off dead skin cells, but it's a real lifting and plumping, like cupping. Yeah, stimulating yeah. blood and lymph. Yeah, okay. So when we feel like we've had enough, don't forget to do round the lips. The good thing about this product is if it goes in your mouth, it's tasty. Amazing. Okay, and then we'll slow it down. I'm going to get a hot cloth, and actually, you just sort of put the hot, put the cloth. I'm just going to put the hot cloth over my face because then it just lets it down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, just a just for a, just for a moment to let it down. And then I'm going to start to wipe it off. You will notice already that the skin has, you know, it looks glowing. We should have done a before and after picky. Yeah, sure. yeah. but um, you can already see that there's a glow. Yeah. And that there's a lot of fresh oxygenated blood here. It's a, I mean, that, even that alone would be a, a super deep cleanse. And you can see that the honey comes off quite nicely. Just make sure it yeah, really does. Really it comes off so that you're not left with any stickiness. Yeah. Complexion looks um, more even as well. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So let's do, we're going to do oil massage now. So facial oil. Yeah. I've got, I've got a homemade facial oil. Um, mine's got, this has got, I think this one, let me just have a quick smell because I've made a few. This is the um, Amaris Ylang Ylang Rose Frankincense. And I've also got a little bit of rose hip. This is in apricot kernel oil. And I've got a little tiny bit of rose hip, organic rose hip, I'm going to add to it. So, let me just take that. Okay, so... Uh, enough for facial massage. What what have you got? I've got the elixir from the Tropic Wave. Lovely. And it's got um, rose hip oil and pomegranate. Um, yeah, it's a really um, age defying. That sounds, like a, that sounds like a that sounds like a that sounds like a great oil. Love that pomegranate extract. Excellent. So we're gonna we're really gonna get it on, and you can bring it down into the neck, and you can go round. Delta or trapezius, if the if uh, if you wish. Okay, so loads of effleurage.
so wonderful to have a massage, a facial massage. Great for your skin texture. Again, great for lymphatics. Deeply relaxing. Deeply nourishing. Cellular rejuvenating. So really working those products and their magic into the skin. So there's loads and loads of effleurage and then we're going to go into the points. So I'll do the points and then you can follow along with them. So the first point is at the chin. So just little circles and not too, not too big on the circle. It's just almost like a hold and a little circle, quite static. Some of them I really just hold and this feels either side of the mouth. This one's a hold. You can do a hold and then a little, just a little circle. And then here, these are a definite hold. If anything, I mean, these, these, not, not, you don't move the circle, but can you see that you rotate on the, on the spot, but you, you're not doing that. Oh. It's just a holding. This is a great acupoint for the uh, con sinus congestion and, and catarrh, like a snotty nose. Large intestine 20. Then we're going to come right underneath, like in line with the pupils, underneath the point of the zygomatic bone. And then we're going to come back under the zygomatic arch almost in the hollow of the temporomandibular joint. So it's like the zygomatic and temporomandibular joint. It's, there's a whole hollow there. Third eye, yin tang, center of the brow, hold it. And then three points along the brow. So you can either do a squeeze, which I think is nice because then you get a double whammy. So one at the medial border, one right in the center of the brow, up above the pupil. And then right at the lateral edge of the brow. So definitely along the brow bone. That's good. Let's do that again. So squeeze first point along the brow, middle of the brow, lateral end of the brow. Next point is right in the middle of the forehead above the eye. So in line with the pupil again, but above on the eye. Up, up, up on the forehead, excuse me. Above the pupil of the eye. And then right in the centre of the hairline. Okay. So you can do as many rounds as those. You've got the chart and you can do as many rounds of those as you like. The acupoints, they're, they're just sort of helping to release anything else. Yeah, they, those acupoints are along meridian lines that release a, an energetic pathway uh, that, that run down the body as well. So they're working to release stagnation and energetic congestion in the face, but they're also, a lot of them, are 
starting points and end points of meridian channels as well. So they're sending messages along around the ears and around and down the neck. But uh, so they have they have a double. It's a little bit like the tapping, you know, where the, you're 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 sending uh, uh, an, uh, the electromagnetic field some information to release stagnation and to boost chi and to boost energy. So um, there's lots there's lots of meridians in the face, but there are a few select ones for this for this massage. So there's lots of them. So um, we're going to take your the gua sha. Now, some people have the derma rollers and you can use the derma roller at this point or you can use the gua sha. So there's gua sha galore on Instagram at the moment. So you can you can absolutely indulge yourself in many techniques. But for us here, we're going to be doing lymphatic drainage. The first thing to do is to go down from the jawline down towards the root of the neck. And this first movement clears any of the lymphatic pathways to the lymphatic ducts at the root of the neck. So we're just clearing and again, sending information and messages along the lymphatic channels and pathways just to unblock. Would you turn the head and do one side at once? Yeah, so, so you're going to do one side and you, what we're not going to do is do the trachea. So we're not going to go down the front of the trachea. It's uh, either side of the trachea. So we're going to do here and then we are going to hit the hit, hit face. That's not really the terminology to use. We're going to do the face in a second. So just working down and down. OK, like this. Amazing. Now we're going to start at the top of the forehead from the center. We're going to go out and down towards the tragus of the ear. This is the tragus of the ear here. And we've got lots of pre-auricular nodes and post-auricular nodes. So we're going to work superficially draining down towards the tragus of the ear. So you can do that a few is times. That yeah, turn it round to that. I'm going to use you are using this side. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the curve. Okay. Yeah. So from the center of the head going out. That's a nice, that's an obsidian piece, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yes, that's a lovely piece. Is, did you get that from Joe Vivi? No, I got it from the pro. It's called the pro.co. Uh, okay, lovely. The pro. Amazing. So you can, and this is really at your shout, you can do either side working down, or you can do all of one side and then all of the other side. And to be absolutely honest with you, I don't have a set rule to it. Sometimes I do work. So today I feel like I'm going to do the other side. And some days I feel like I'm going to do all the one side of the face. Now, you might have seen people do a little jiggle here. They do a little sort of a little wiggle and jiggle. And that's absolutely fine. You just stimulate. And same, like same, that, so same. So and same. Straight, and then turn into the That's right. Yes, absolutely. You're going across and you're sweeping down and around. So you, you follow the contour of the face rather than just going sort of over the eye. You're contouring around the temple, down over the cheek and then a little jiggle just to activate these preauricular points. The lymphatic system is very superficial, so you don't really need to go deep, but I like to work with enough depth that I also feel like I'm really pushing that excess tissue fluid towards the nodes, which is what we're doing here is you've got tissue fluid within the spaces of all cells. And to have good lymphatic drainage, you want to have the lymphatic system draining off the fluid effectively and so any puffy eyes you can do a little extra so just using the pointy end here this pointy this pointy bit here 
I'm going to just pull, because I have got puffy eyes, my kidney condition just means that I have a little bit of, this is because uh, the kidney area in Chinese face mapping is under the eyes. So I'm gonna do a bit of extra there and then always coming down. And in a moment, we'll drain towards the lymphatic duct again. Okay, so we'll just go to these nodes. So now it feels right just to continue doing the face and then I'll go to the other eye. So I'm still using this curved Amazing. I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to do this under eye. So you can get quite close up to the eye without going into what, what you would consider to be dangerous. And it's enough pressure that I feel like I'm really working my face, skin, lymphatic, blood circulation. Without it, it's not hurting because it shouldn't hurt at all. But you definitely want to have enough pressure that it feels like it's doing something. Yeah. And again, you should see a glow occur. So I'm just going to work. Um, either side of my mouth now in these lovely smiley lines and this is a little bit more about fresh oxygenated blood i'm going to do a little flick would you still be using that i am i'm using all the time yeah i, I haven't changed yet i haven't changed i'll let you know when i do Actually, because the face is the, is the way the, sh the face is shaped, when I'm working, when I'm working uh, the body, I use this side because then I can work a bit more like that. Wait, let's get there. Let's finish the face. I get so excited. OK, so, yeah, I was doing these little flicks almost like a little bit quicker. And I'm going to do the other side. This is up. This is the smiley lines, marinette lines. A little bit of a flick, but without being any. Yeah, that's lovely what you're doing. So this is about just fresh oxygenated blood and chi. We want a lot of chi in the face, energy, oomph, life force. And then I'm going to take the very tip here the other thing the, the one that you've got as well with that with that little groove is you can do along the jawline where one goes up uh up on top of the jaw and one goes underneath the jaw you have underneath? uh no change it round that one the, the, that so the, the bigger point underneath the bigger point. yeah and do you know, everybody's everybody's face is slightly different that you would you could you know when I'm doing gua sha I flip I flip my stone all the time I'm like is it that side is it this side is it this way is it this way because everybody's body and it fits that's the great thing about having the different tools with the different shapes is that the tools fit perfectly to everybody's individual so yeah just along the jawline I'm just gonna go back and do the lips in a minute. We just I got, I got sidetracked with the with the curve. Yeah, amazing. And then often because there's a quite with this point here, which is what I was gonna say, I do a little bit on top of the lips. Just a bit of backwards and forwards. Avicularis auris muscle. A little bit of backwards and forwards. The other thing about gua sha is that when I'm working with the gua sha, I anchor. So rather than having a wobble and the flesh moving and wobbling, you anchor in front of it so that you get a little bit of tension and a little bit of counter, counter pull, if you like. Okay, and then also the masseter muscle. The one, if you're a grinder or a clencher, 
This is great to go up and down the masseter. Are you using the whole and I'm using there? the I'm using the end there. The end. Yeah, I'm, I'll try it with that side. Let me see what it feels like with this side. That feels great too. And just like I said, to anchor, anchor, and try and get a little bit more tension. Wow, that's great. Let's do it this side. So I'm using this end, or you can use your pointy end. The pointy end is, is more focused. That's a wider application. Good. Yeah. Oh, right along the jawline in the masseter. Do a little bit more flicky here and then we're going to drain down towards the ducts. That's the last thing to do is to go back down to the ducts. So you go along and then swing it round and down. Swing it and down. We've got lovely, these ducts then recycle any lymph that enters back into the bloodstream to rejoin as blood. It enters into the subclavian vein and goes into the superior vena cava and then enters back into the chambers of the heart to be cycled again. So it's a good, we're helping, we're helping the excess tissue fluid and the lymphatic fluid down. Okay, we're now going to do a little bit of plumping. So the thing is, and I'm, I'm using my thumb and forefinger here to do that. Yeah. So this is exactly the same as cupping. And I think the honey acts the same way as the cupping bit tricky to do the head so you can do little you can do little flicks on the head forehead and lift some lift some flicks nice and vigorous lift some flicks other side lift some flicks lovely good I don't know if you've seen the Korean chicks do this but they really properly slap you <laughs> it's great good and then whole hand a bit tricky for me to do it on myself but do you know where you get the heel of your hand and you go whole hand like lift whole hand lift whole yeah exactly whole hand lift I'll do it this way but exactly what you're doing there beautiful nice whole hand lift And then we're just going to come round the eyes and focus just around abicularis oculi all day long, please. And you can do both directions. You can do figure of eight. All around. Nice. Little squeeze along the brow once again. Okay, a few effleurages. So we're going to um, bring on the derma roller. Okay. So we'll talk about the derma roller after we've done the sequence. I'll go into a bit more detail about that and um, explain the benefits of using this and how to, you know, uh, explain it to your clients. Okay. okay. 
so they should always it should it should come um, out of the oops oh don't drop my nice oil there we go okay so the the way to use this is in a is in a crisscross fanning um or is it called cr cr that's like a crisscross so what we're going to start on let's start sort of from the chin it's a point you got a point two five, right yeah it's a point two five. Mm -hmm. yeah so starting going along the jaw okay. and it's enough pressure get the feedback do you, put, do you apply pressure? I do, but not hard pressure. It's not like... <laughs> it's just enough pressure that you can feel it. So it's not... I'm not putting loads of pressure on, but also I'm not doing like... A, if it's too light and flimsy, it's, it's not really doing anything. So with these 0.25s, it's very, very safe. But we're going to go in one direction and then we lift it off to go in the other direction and lift to come off to move it so what you're never going to do is roll it and then twist it on the skin yeah. you're always lifting off so because i've gone this way i'm now going to cross it but i'm lifting as i'm coming up and i'm just going to come slight so that my first was on the jaw and now i'm going to come slightly up So it's, it's the across the whole skin, is it? It is, yeah. We're going we're to go everywhere. Yeah, and then I'm going to cross it. Yeah, and I, I go backwards and forwards like that. Rather than doing, rather than doing that, I go oh. little rolls like that. Yeah, better. And then cross it, little rolls, little rolls, like a backwards and forwards. I don't want to use the word scrubbing. I don't, the, the word is, uh, it's like, um, I suppose scrubbing seems to be the word that keeps coming in my mind. But it's a backwards and forwards, yeah, backwards and forwards, and then lift and backwards and forwards. You lift it, so as you go across, so as you go like this, yeah, you lift it to take it to the next. Step. Yeah, absolutely, a hundred percent. Yeah, there's never a drag, ever anywhere. Yeah, it's always a lift, even to move along the same line. Now, what I do do is where does where do my lines are, I go a little bit harder, just a little bit, because by now the skin's used to it. And then across. And this is uh, creating a slight micro trauma in the skin. And when you create a micro trauma in the skin, all those little helper cells that come to rejuvenate and repair will be messaged to come and help and repair. But what we've also done is made these little micro trauma channels to put in some lovely serums, of which. I adore your super green. Oh. I've told you that before. Have I told you that before? Yeah. That's my fave. I must get some. I must treat myself to some. I'll give you my link. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of people I know who do Tropic, Hillary. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So how close would you say goes to the eye? So, uh, when, okay, let's go up to the eye. So I would go here. So almost... And where the where the orbital cavity is, yeah. that's it. The gua sha, like I said, the gua sha, I come up, I come up quite high, but with the derma roller, where the orbital bone is, that's about it. However, where my creases are here at the side, I'll go there. I'll go at my little creases, but I won't go underneath. It's too delicate here. Right, I need to catch top up. Top lip is okay just to go over. Sorry, darling? Top lip? Yes, definitely. Do you know what? That's been, I think that's been the greatest results of my derma rolling uh, career or experience. 
I'll just show you that now. I'm just going to just going to catch up so I'm a bit even. But yeah, so it's a little bit weird and a little bit tingly, but. What, do you wear, are you wearing it over the lips? Yes. I'd say that this is the this is the most uh, this is the the most uh, profound results I've seen with the derma roller is plumping the lips. Would you ask the client to sort of purse the lips? No, relax. relax. Right. Good questions, by the way. Good questions. Relax your lips. I mean, it's not the most luxurious part of the treatment, but it's really, really good. And you do the crossing action on the lift. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I think people are now on board with, you know, need a bit of a uh, more comfortable. You have to be a little bit. To get totally. I had a microcurrent facial um, from with Environ and there was an aspect of that where it was so painful. I mean, the results were amazing, but it was super painful. And they do, they roll as well. They've got great rollers at Environ. So how often would you recommend a derma roller? Yeah, so I do, I try and do it two or three times a week. At the moment, twice a week, um, just because I'm so, so tired at night. But um, I do it at night because it does, it can leave you looking and feeling a little bit sunburnt. So I do mine, and, and like I said, I think I explained that because I've been derma rolling for maybe like two or three years now, mine's a, mine's a 0.5, but I would only use a 0.25 on clients and this course only ensures you to use a 0.25. But at home, I've jumped up, this, this I've jumped up to a 0.5 and I try and do it twice a week. I mean, you can do it three times a week, but twice a week is, is great, you know. And then, like I said, do it, do it in the evening because this is great as well. This is really good right here uh, at the eleventh. Uh, Yay! Okay, I think I think my skin's telling me it's enough. Okay, so this is where you would give a spray. You can either use colloidal silver, tea tree, um, or your disinfectant to spray your your lovely spray your lovely derma roller so give it a spray and then leave it on top of the tray just to evaporate and to dry off before you give it to your client right, okay. right the next bit now is is the now like i said have you have you got a sheet mask because you can see now that if i was to put clay onto my face it might be a bit too much yeah Unless yeah, you've I've got, got I've got a hydrate like Tropic has got a hydrating mask. Is it more of like a creamy mask? Yeah. Then that's the creamy mask. That's the one to go for. So the one I've got is a sheet mask here. Or your creamy did masks. You, did you remove the eye facial oil? No. Oil no. On? No, leave it on. Leave that all on. Because you shouldn't be, it shouldn't be sloppy. By the time you've finished your massage and everything, the oil shouldn't be sloppy that you need to remove it. And certainly with a rose hip oil. No, no, no. Because we've made we've made um, the micro traumas. If you, I mean, if it feels if it feels like there's too much oil on and you need to remove it, then then you can. But we've. For me, my oil didn't leave me feeling greasy. My skin actually feels quite yeah. dry now. Yeah, so it doesn't really feel it doesn't feel oily at all. And on goes the lovely okay. sheet mask. Okay. Now, um, have you got, oh, I'll wait for you. Yeah, I'll wait for you. Yeah. 
It's the only thing to be mindful of with these sheets. I don't think mine has, but if it's a very, very high, yeah, mine has got a bit of vitamin C, which is great to go into the channels. But if it's got a very high vitamin C, like a stronger ascorbic acid, that can be a bit tingly. Mine's got a bit of it, but it's great to have a bit of vitamin C in the channels. It creates these, these this slight micro trauma where you've got now these little channels for the um, the product to go in. Um, can you, can you, which one are you, you going to eat These are, these are the, the uh, this is the Honey Korean Beauty. I go to TK Maxx and just select some from TK Maxx. They've got great masks in there. Yeah. So I just try lots of different ones out, but this is a honey, this is a honey Korean beauty facial, collagen and vitamin C, honey, manuka, collagen mask. But there's there's like things like nice pomegranate extract ones I've had, tea tree ones I've had. Not tea tree, so not tea tree, tea green tea. tea. Watch out for any of the high levels of the vitamin C or or anything like that. Yeah, or... you just don't want something too acidic. Because no. okay. it it'll sting, it'll sting. Um, the next thing is the little, this is where the marble crescents come in. I'm going to fish mine out. Did you put them on ice? They're cool anyway. Okay, I've got mine on ice. Now, I'm not going to be able to balance mine on my face. But these are wicked. On they go. I'm going to hold mine. Oh, they're so good. So the length of this treatment, what would? So um, an hour. The length of it. Yeah, I'd say so. What, an hour and a half? No, an hour. An hour? Yeah. Like a facial. So with your, with the, um, you did use the rose mushrooms in this one. We're going to, we're going. Tool. Would you just interchange what you think? No, we're going to, we're going to use those in a minute. We're going to use those in a sec. We're going to use those in a sec to massage serum in. Uh, right, okay. It's not over yet. <laughs> right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You, you can keep it on. I'm going to take mine off because it's dripping, not dripping, but it's sort of going into my eye because I'm not lying down. <laughs> Lay on the bed, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind. <laughs> I'm going to keep the serum on. How long? Was, so is that is that is that a tropic sheet mask? No, they've just started doing the eye masks. They haven't done the sheet one yet because they ha she hasn't come up with a way of the packaging. Right. She's, she wants to do the best packaging. Yes. Um, this is just one that I'm in the cupboard. It's a body shop drop for the youth. Yes. Plant stem cells. Lovely. Um, it'd be nice actually if it drops for you. So I just thought I could put it in a cupboard. Super. So obviously they add to your price point, don't they? They do. Like they do, yeah. This this that. this can be a higher end facial. Um and again, you need to look at what your uh your community and your industry are charging for these massages. It depends in London. You can charge one hundred and twenty pounds for it down here in Bournemouth. You could probably charge about fifty five, sixty pounds. Oh. It's very different. So I had a, a student here the other day from London, who was telling me her prices, and I was like, oh, "Wowza!" <laughs> but then you know, it's it's uh, it's a it's a capital city. So do you want to take that off and then? So they usually stay on for 10 minutes, don't they, the facial? Yeah. The, 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 uh, yeah, they usually stay on for 10 minutes. And then if you've got, get your lovely, gorgeous 
serum. Well, I've gone with the rain the rainforest dew today. Gorgeous. Hydration serum. Gorgeous. I've got um I've got a little bit of retinol here as well. I'm gonna put a bit of retinol. I've got a, a, a beauty pie plantastic super drops. I've got a little bit of the Medicaid um, retinol uh, and there's some peptides. You can put, you can layer your serums, but I'm just going to put them on over the the uh, the juice, or if you like, of the of the mask. Yeah, of the the uh, the serum of the mask, and then I'm going to get you get your mushrooms. Let's get the mushrooms. Yeah. And it still might feel a little bit um, lubricated from the mask, but that's okay. There we go. These are cold. I put my mushrooms, so your mushrooms can be warm or they can be chilled. Entirely up to you. So we're going to keep the, the serum and the, um, the fluid, that's the word, not the juice. <laughs> oh my goodness that's cold oh that's nice so we're going to do our circular massage with the mushrooms yeah no actually the cold's fabulous oh Have you got wands as well, white jade wands as well? I haven't. No, no okay. That's okay. My husband might leave me for buying them. No, you don't you don't need them. No, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Absolutely fine. But these are great cold. How do you use the wand on the set? Let me just show you it's exactly the same. And you don't need both. It's either or. It is either or. Um, I, you know, I've, I've always used wands, but since the mushrooms have been around, they're so lovely for this. But you do the same thing. Oh, yeah. In fact, the mushrooms, the mushrooms are slightly more suited to to this to the job. But you know, I don't think you can get in everywhere with the mushrooms. Yeah, but I would I would put them on a bit of ice, put them in a cool pack. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're super. Yeah, I like the mushrooms a lot. Okay. What are the serum rollers like over thread veins? So I would go lightly over thread veins, actually. Yeah, if you've got broken capillaries and thread veins, you don't want to be like, again, it's 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 not con it's not a, I wouldn't say it's a contraindication, but I'd go very lightly over them. Um, but it's good for definitely good for for wrinkles and pitting and acne scarring not you know it's, it's not going to damage the in, in fact let's hope that it works well with the blood capillaries and, and helps to agitate them but I wouldn't I'd be very careful and light over them are you using the mushrooms still I'm back on the mush I'm back on the mushrooms now last blast with these so you know your skin feels quite glowy like this like I said a little bit like a sunburn so the cooling is very, very nice. Um, I don't know if you've got any eye cream or little eye, little bit of eye cream. Put a little bit of eye cream on. How much are your eyes? Do you, do you feel your skin color in general? Yeah, that's Does it feel like you're Yeah, yeah, like cooler, yeah. Nice. 
So you'd put a little bit of eye cream on. I'm just going to finish. Oh, lovely. I'm dropping that. Just clean that a little. Okay. So a little bit of eye cream and then a little tiny bit of moisturiser or a little bit more um, of, of the elixir. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to put a little bit more of my lovely rosehip oil on. And also I've got a little bit of the um, that Tropic um, Tamanu Balm. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to mix that a little bit, but a tiny bit of the Tamanu Balm with a little bit of my rosehip oil. Those two together. Okay, so that is so on my timer here. That's fifty-two minutes. Yeah. So I'm just going to end here. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>